and welcome back to my channel. We are back with a video that I know you guys absolutely love. I get messages about these all the time. And today I am going to be doing Sainsbury's. Well, you would have already seen that from the title. And I've dressed for the occasion. <laughs> Oh God. If you don't get what I mean, it's because like saying Chris is orange, do you know what I mean? No? Yeah, great. Unfortunately, I have been let down greatly by Sainsbury's and you will probably be able to tell that by the length of this video because I'm assuming it's going to be a lot shorter than what my other ones are. I moaned about Morrison's, but Sainsbury's was by far the worst. There was only one product that was marketed by Sainsbury's as new. I don't understand why they don't do things like this like anyway the bits i did get all look pretty good so i am actually really excited to try these things before we jump into me taste testing these items please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already i hope you enjoy let's try the first item i'm just going to set the scene for you it is tuesday it is six o'clock, I have finished work, and I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, Tuesday is by far the worst day of the week. I don't mind Mondays, because it's your first day back, but Tuesdays, no. <laughs> I hate them. And the only thing that can make a Tuesday better, apart from two for Tuesdays, is some wine. I have never seen one of these before, and it's so weird. Like, why is it a wine in a beer glass? I don't know. This is a mini vino Chardonnay. Yeah, it's in this like little bottle. Um, it's 12.5%. This, is it 12.5? I feel like percentages are important. 12, sorry. Got you guys hyped up for an extra 5% there. I miss after work drinking so much. Like that's one thing I miss about being in the office is like the social life after it. Um, I never go for drinks after work since working from home. It smells really nice. Oh. It's okay, it's really not my type of wine. I'm more of like a sweet wine kind of gal. I don't actually, I always get it wrong when I'm out. I, don't, I never know what the sweet wine is. I thought it was Chardonnay, but this is not sweet. But it's definitely hitting the spot. <laughs> The first food I'm going to try is the only product that Sainsbury's actually had promoted as new. Which is weird because the packaging itself doesn't say new and I honestly didn't think this was new. This is the, I don't even know how, Ritter Sport and this is a peppermint chocolate and this says um, dark chocolate with peppermint filling. So I'm assuming this is just like a big after eight. <sighs> You know what, I never go for mint stuff, but I always really enjoy it. So, oh my god, it's huge. Looks like that. Oh my god, my friend Becky would love this. This is so good. This is actually going to be my dinner today. And I don't have that many snacks compared to a normal video. So, I feel like I can eat more. Wow, that is 10 times better than an after eight. I could genuinely eat that whole thing. That is so good. I'm gonna rate that a nine out of 10. That was sensational. If you like after eights, then you'll like that or like matchsticks or anything like that. I think that's probably the best mint chocolate I've ever had. Next thing I have is Malteser cookies. Oh crap, these are freshly baked actually. So yeah, these went out of date yesterday. You know what, the first thing I noticed on the packaging that was that these were only 214 calories. And I was gonna say, that's really like low for a cookie. That's really good. But they are pretty small compared to like a normal cookie uh, in this. You know, like if you go like M&S or Tesco and you get like their ones. It's actually a lot smaller. So yeah, these are the Maltesers cookie. Maltesers are coming out with everything at the minute. I've had those Malteser biscuit things. Um, they also brought out a cake and now we've got a cookie. Very, very moist. Guys, why does anyone have a problem with moist? Is it just because everyone else has a problem? Because what is wrong with the word moist? Like, it literally perfectly describes stuff. Did you hear that? It's actually got crunchy bits of Malteser in it. 
I didn't even check the bag and pick my favourite one. Who am I? Okay, it's kind of hard to tell because I feel like because they're f you're supposed to eat them fresh and I bought them yesterday. They're a bit chewy. So I like the fact that they've managed to keep the crunch of the Maltese out in the cookie, but very bland. Even if they were baked yesterday, they should still have quite a strong taste, which they don't. And I don't feel like they actually have chocolate chips in it. And if they do, they don't really stand out. So I don't recommend them. If I was out and about on the go, I'd rather just buy like the mini bottles because you can actually do them up. Oh no, actually this does have a lid. And maybe if you needed a wee later and there's no toilet because of whatever reason, <laughs> this might come in handy. Oh my God, it actually would. Tell me that, ladies. I could have done with this when I was like a younger age, getting drunk over a park. <laughs> oh, I'm just talking about pissing in this and now I'm drinking out of it. Right, over yourself. Do you think that the person who come up with that as an invention thought of that? Actually, not even from being a kid, just from like recently, because I'm sure you guys were all partial to a picnic over the park, as it was very visible when I was over the park that people were like peeing in the park. I mean, sorry if that's TMI, but please don't tell me you haven't done that. I mean, I haven't obviously, because I'm very classy, but there may be people that have. Right, I'm gonna go for something savoury now. These look so cool. I've actually got two crisps of the same flavour. And you guys know me, I don't do spice, but there wasn't, I, I wanted to try these over. They had cheesy ones and, oh yeah, actually to be fair, I do like cheesy wopsits. I don't know, but when you see like cheese, like I would never choose cheese Doritos or stuff. So they just, I was just like, nah. Anyway, giant wopsits. I'm excited to see how giant these are. Can't imagine them being too giant. Oh my god, what the heck? Can I even fit them? Okay, they spell a bit spicy. Why did I do that? Am I an idiot? That's like proper like stuck to my teeth. What do they taste like? I can't stop eating these. Oh my god. Ah. These are definitely not one biters. I'm not even going to share them with the rest of the family. I'm definitely not sharing them. They are so good. I'm trying to think. I feel like I'd kind of probably say they taste like red Doritos. Although one thing I do hate about what's it is they do get stuck in your teeth. If I edit this back and there's a big bit of what's it in my teeth, I'm going to cringe to death. So I'm going to rate these a 9 out of 10. Um, the flavour's really nice, like it has got a kick to it, but a nice one. I'm not going to point it off for the fact that it's all in my teeth. Do you know what I mean? Next thing I'm super excited about, these are the white chocolate buttons. Now, I know that they do them in a bag mixed in with both, but I don't know. I don't know why I'm so excited. And they've also now bought out a chocolate bar. I didn't see that in there. Of course I didn't, because they've never had anything. Amazing. I mean, they're literally just white chocolate buttons, but do you know what chocolate I was talking to my brother about the other day? You remember Mars Delight? And they had like the wafer thing in the middle and then like, I'll put a picture up on the screen now, but oh my God, they were so good. They were my favorites. Anyway, off subject. I mean, you can't go wrong with these, can you? So I'm just gonna give them the full 10 out of 10. If you don't like white chocolate, you won't like them. If you like white chocolate. Mm. Splashback. I've got my makeup on and I've had a wine. Someone please stop me from texting my friends to say, what are you doing? <laughs> Next I have another biscuit. These are the Fox's white chocolate chunks. Very hard, there's no softness to that. I've actually got this for another part of the video because <laughs> I'm gonna have something that's very spicy, but I'm just gonna do a quick dip. It's fine, right? So the white foxes cookie chunks, whatever they are, I'm going to rate these a six. I, It's not my type of cookie. I like a bit of softness. That's just fully crunch. So this is the crunchy caramel bar. I wonder if this is new, new. Like, 
I don't remember this coming out. I thought the colours that come out was a yellow one, a green one and a blue one, I feel. Nutty, hazelnut and crunchy. I, I don't know. Could be wrong. I have actually tried the normal M&Ms of this, I think. Have I? I feel like I have, but I'm excited to try the bar. Unreal. Guys, I'm not even joking you, I've just found a new favourite. If you like dime bars, this, unreal. Now someone please take this off me because I'm going to devour the whole thing. I only have one thing left and I am not going to lie, I'm completely shitting myself about this. I posted these on Instagram yesterday and I easily had over 20 replies telling me that these are so hot. People literally saying like, I eat spice, I love spice, but these, someone said that they're like, a, like eating a vindaloo. They're saying it's like a vindaloo and I get a korma. That's my hot at all. I'm really going with the same as theme here today, aren't we? I've actually just taken my slippers off because I'm getting hot just thinking about it. Oh. Okay. My tongue just burnt a bit then. Guys, I lightly rested that on my tongue and it's literally like tingling. Do I just go? Right. Oh my god. Ooh. I'm gonna eat a few of them. Oh my god, it's actually making me it's making my jaw shiver. Oh my god, my tongue feels like it's swelling. When does it stop feeling like this? <laughs> I feel like when you eat something spicy, it's supposed to be like, oh God, it's not stopping. Wait one more minute. But this is just like burning my tongue. It's not like spicy anywhere else. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know because I'm not like a spice connoisseur, but I do know that when I eat something spicy, it kind of like goes up the back of your throat. Like, it's a bit like, <clears throat> this is just more like my tongue feels swollen kind of spice. Like as if I haven't eaten anything. I've just laid my tongue out and I'm gonna pour some chili on them. Apart from that, I feel like today has gone really well. These were by far my favorite, but this was also delicious. Like very good, very good. But I don't know when you're not eating it, I just look at that and I'm like, I don't even want another bite. But when you're eating it, you're like, oh my God, that's unreal. Does that make sense? Right, so that is it for today's video. I do feel like I've done all the supermarkets now. Next time I'm going to do new in at B&M and Home Bargains, kind of like combined, because I feel like they're kind of the same. Everyone does always combine their stuff. Um, although to be fair, they do have a lot of stuff. I don't know how much of it is actually well marketed as new. Maybe I could do new in Iceland, but again, I don't know how many things I would actually get. I could try. But with Christmas fast approaching, I'm definitely gonna be doing like a Christmas edition of this, probably like new in Christmas at all the supermarkets maybe. Because at Christmas, is it just me or does everything amazing just come out? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in my next one.